Dragway to attend one of their Jaguars tested tunes. And as you guys can tell, we're in the SS. Now today, we're not going for any personal best times. I've already checked the DA earlier. It was like 2700, something like that. And it's 90 degrees out, so it's not gonna be great weather for trying to set any records or anything. But I just wanna see if my theory will hold up that that 11.4 that I got in the DA was like 200 and it was 60 degrees outside. Today's kind of a, a test for that theory. Like today I'm predicting I won't get out of the 12s. We'll see. The I haven't changed anything on the car since the last time I went racing in April back at uh, Fayetteville Motorsports Park. The car's 100% stock or the way it was. The only thing that we're going to change today is tire pressure. I'm going to try dropping it down a little bit. And I do have my little battery powered compressor. So if I drop it down too much, I can always raise it back up. So that's going to be the big test today is seeing if the DA's bad affects the supercharged car times. And we're going to see if we can get any better times with by adjusting tire pressure. So let's head out to the Z-Max and see what this thing will do.
All right, guys, we're going to quickly go over the time slips for the night. As I said earlier on the way to the track, the air density was 2,600 feet and relatively the relative density was 92.43 and it was a 90 degree day now the first run a little bit of a story behind this one i uh, put the car in sport mode but somehow i ended up hitting the manual button up so it was in first gear when i was going down the track it redlined it hit the fuel cutoff and uh, didn't realize that it was in manual mode so i had to manually shift it and that's why you heard the engine kind of hit the top fuel limiter and uh so i ended up running a 12.5 at 113 eighth mile was an 8.1 at 84. so for the second run we trapped a 11.97 at 117.2 that's a common theme for the night the 60 foot time was a 1.8 the eighth mile time was a 7.7 .7 at 93. So just right there, you know, that was three tenths faster in the, with, with between the second run and the first run. Third run was a 11.98 at 117.38 miles per hour. That was one tenth slower in the quarter. We had a one 11.9, I'm sorry, one one hundredth slower. The last run was 11.97. 60 foot again was a 1.8 the eighth mile was a 7.7 .7 at 93 and the fourth and final run of the night was a 11.90 it's a little bit quicker on the et 11.90 versus 11.98 or 11.97 or 11 earlier trapped at 117 60 foot again 1 1.8 eighth mile 7.7 .7 at 93. So as you guys can see we have repeatability you know throughout the night and after I ran my third 11.9 at 117 I was done for the night. This car is very predictable it's like once it runs one run that's what it's gonna run all day. Kind of like the video we did back in Fayetteville I have a link in the description above. You know that day I ran four runs all 11 fours at 124 and tonight, all 11 nines at 117. The whole point of this video was not to, oh, see how fast the car is gonna go. I know what the car has gone in, in decent air. The point of today's video was to show that our summer times are directly affected by air density, you know, the DA, temperature. You know, these blower cars love cooler air. Like when it's hot, they just, they cut power, cut timing whatever they do the times are telling you that the car's already down on power and uh what do, what do i mean by that is you know we are running five cents slower and trapping seven miles per hour less and there's nothing has changed on the car anyway i digress i wanted to make this a short ending to this video but i think i've gone long so we'll end it here if you guys like the video give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do also if you want to know when i upload new content hit that bell notification and if you want to help support the channel click the links below thanks guys have a great one